Rheological models are useful in understanding the mechanical behavior of a material. First, let's look at a solid. And uh, we will consider an elastic solid uh, for which there is a relationship between shear stress and shear strain. Sigma equals G times gamma where G is called the shear modulus. This uh, sigma is the shear stress and gamma is the shear strain. This uh, equation is also called Hooke's law because for many solid materials this uh, linear relationship holds. So if we plot shear stress versus shear strain we will get a straight line and the slope of that line will be G or the shear modulus. By the way, the term modulus is a measure of the amount of force per unit area or stress that is required to achieve a given amount of deformation. Now the elastic solid, which we also called Hookean solid because it follows the Hooke's law, we use this model to describe the behavior of various types of solids. So this uh, simple linear model can be used to describe behavior of solids such as steel and also in case of foods we can consider this model for eggshells, dry pasta or hard candy. This uh, linear relationship is valid for small amounts of strains less than 0 0.01. When working with gels we normally use larger values of strain. 